to start by getting your thoughts on being a Bradford City player. How are you feeling about it? Uh, yeah, I'm delighted to be here. Um, it's not just a case of coming alone and, and getting games. You know, I want to come in, come here, buy into what the gaffer and the boys um, have the way they want to play and, you know, I want to contribute to the team, yeah. What does this move represent in your own career at present? Um, I think, you know, for most parts of my career, I've always been at big clubs with um, big expectations. So, you know, that's something I'm used to. Um, I know this club's got big expectations and, you know, hopefully I can use my experience from other clubs and bring it here and you know, hopefully do well. How big a, a valuable factor is that, that you've got that experience to handle big expectations, big pressures that come with that? You've played in some big games as well. Um, yeah, it's tough, you know, some boys... Um, maybe come here and they don't um, expect, really realise how big the, the football club is. Um, you know, I've been up in Scotland at Hearts and it's kind of similar club, you know, big expectations, big fan base. So, yeah, it's something I'm used to. Um, it's something I'm looking forward to and it's something I'm going to take onto my shoulders and, you know, hopefully I can, can produce some good performances, yeah. Yeah, and, and how do you go about shouldering that expectation, shouldering that pressure and, and, and dealing with it? Um, I'm not the, the most vocal on the pitch, to be fair. You know, I like to do my talking, maybe in front of goal or with the ball, etc. So, you know, hopefully I can do that. Um, hopefully I can produce a few goals um, for the team, which I think, you know, obviously they've, they've maybe struggled with in the last few weeks. So, you know, that's what I'm looking to do. Yeah, it's been a defining factor, I think it's fair to say, of, of Bradford City season so far, that the lack of goals, the chances have been there. The, the goals just haven't followed suit. And I know hearing actually what Derek Adams had to say uh, from the statement that came out from the football club that, you know, that was a big factor in why he brought you to the football club to, to score those goals that, that Bradford City need. Um, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, as a forward player, you're always looking at goals and assists. Um, that's something that I do um, look at as well. I've scored a lot of goals, you know, back home in Scotland and, you know, I'm just hoping to get here and um, do the same and I'm looking forward to Saturday, hopefully to get off to a good start. You're not a bad place to, to make your debut for Bradford City in front of a, an expectant Valley Parade. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, hopefully the, the fans come in their numbers, you know, as they always do. And, you know, hopefully we can, first and foremost, um, get a good result in three points and hopefully I can put in a good performance, yeah. How would you describe your game then if, if you were to, to explain it to a Bradford City fan that hadn't seen you play before? Um, yeah, that's a tough question, but... Uh, you know, I just like to get in the box, you know, um, hopefully score a few goals, a few assists, you know, try and make things happen in the forward areas of the pitch. But, you know, I'm not I'm not stupid. You're just not going to come here and get on the ball and pass it around and play. You know, you know, you need to fight and you need to battle. But I'm used to that back home in Scotland. So, you know, hopefully I can bring that too. Versatility uh, seems to be another uh, chink in your armour when, when reading what Derek Adams had to say in the statement that you can play across that the front three, as it were, you can play in the number 10 as well. But but for you, what's your most suited position if you had to choose? Um, I'd probably say the number 10. Um, I broke, broke through, obviously, in Scotland. Um, playing left side off the front three, I can do that. I can do the right. But, you know, my favourite position is probably off the front. But, you know, that's down to the manager. And, you know, wherever he picks me, I'll, I'll try to do my best, yeah. You mentioned Hearts. You know, how, how would you describe this season for you so far? Um, it's been a strange season. Um, I've only really played, I think, it's eight, eight appearances or something. Um, there was obviously talking me leaving before the last game I scored, played for Hearts and scored. So, you know, it was a, a, a tough season. Um, I scored a couple of goals, but I didn't play as much as I wanted. Um, I think the manager was quite open and honest. You know, he wanted to keep me up there, you know, but I wanted to go play games. And, you know, the opportunity to come here came around and it was one I, I couldn't turn down. If we're to read into reports, you know, there was interest elsewhere in Scotland to, to take you to other football clubs, but you've decided to to cross the border and come down to Bradford City. What was it about this football club that, that made you want to come? Um, I think as a football player, you know, you always want to play for, for big clubs um, with big fan base and big expectations. And I'm no different. Um, I did have a few offers back home in Scotland, but when I heard... Derek Adams wanted to bring me here um, it was a no-brainer and hopefully I can get back playing football enjoying it and contribute to the team and hopefully we can push up the table How big a determining factor was Derek Adams in you coming to Bradford City and, and, and what is it about Derek Adams that, that's made you want to play for him? 
Um, I've not actually played from before, but I've also played against these teams. Um, I know he's got a great record. Obviously, got promoted with Plymouth. Um, got promoted with Morecambe. Um, I think you know he knows me as a player, and at this time in my career, that's something that you know I really need to to think about. Um, so yeah, that was really the defining factors that that made me choose here. Is that a big thing for you, feeling wanted at a football club, and a manager wanting you at the club? Um, yeah, definitely. I think you know any. Any place, any workplace, not even in football, you know, you want to feel wanted. Um, and that was a, a big factor. Um, the, the manager knowing me um, as a person and, you know, as a player. So, yeah. Would it be fair to say that that feeling's probably been lacking in your career in recent times, that that, that feeling of being wanted? Um, yeah, I think, you know, back home, um, I've always been well thought of and, you know, rated highly um, at Hearts. But, you know, when I came to England the first time, it was... You know, kind of the managers didn't know me, and you know, I'm not the the most well spoken person anyway, so it didn't work out well. So, as I said before, the defining factor was you know, the manager know me as a person, and obviously, seen me a lot when he was in Scotland, so you know, that was the defining factor. Yeah, do you arrive at the fo- football club fully fit, ready to go? Are you ready for a full 90 on Saturday? Um, yeah, I think if you know, I've been training a lot. Um, the only thing is I've just came off the back of the winter break back home so we've been yeah. off for a few days um, but you know I've trained all, all the all whole season and you know more recently I've came off the bench a couple of times for Hearts so yeah I'm ready to go and hopefully the manager fix me and Finally I know it's early days but how's it been settling in with the squad and meeting new faces? Um, yeah it's great um, all the boys have been Fantastic. Um, we were off yesterday, so a friend on Tuesday, I think it was, and trained today. So, you know, it's been good and I'm looking forward to it. Best of luck for Saturday, Jamie. Good to meet you. Cheers. Yeah. Hi, Jamie. Um, you said you settled in quite well. Were there any other players that you knew before that you came down here? Um, I played with Callum <laughs> Cook when I was on loan at Peterborough. Um, but... Most of the boys I didn't really know, to be fair, which is unusual coming to a football club. You usually know three or four, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting to know them now and, you know, it's something I'm looking forward to doing over the next few weeks. As you said there, you, you've played at Peterborough before, I think played at Wigan as well. How do you compare Scottish and English football? A lot's always made of the difference. Is there a difference? Um, To be fair, obviously, the, the Premier League is the Premier League, but I think, you know, the... The SPL and, you know, League One, League Two, the Championship, you know, there's, I would say, like, most teams in this league could probably beat each other, if you know what I mean, whereas back home, you've obviously got probably a big gulf in quality between the top of the league and the bottom of the league, so that's probably the main difference, yeah. OK, well, thanks very much and good luck on Saturday. Thanks. Uh, Jamie, hi. Um, you were saying about, obviously, your time in England. I mean, you didn't get that many games, did you? Mm-hmm. Was it was that a bit you know what what was the reason behind that not playing a um, lot? I'm not sure. It was tough. Um, I went in the January obviously to Wigan and they were top of League One. Um, obviously doing well, so I never really broke into the team. Um, and just found myself really on the periphery of things. So obviously decided to go on loan to Peterborough and played for the first half of the season and then went back in January with a knee injury. So. I think if it wasn't after that that the chance came to go back home to obviously a big club in Hearts, then I probably would have tried to stay in England. But that's that's what I think. Yeah. Was it a source of a slight frustration that you didn't get more games in England? Because obviously, you know, it's a big move for you, wasn't it? Um. Yeah. At the time, it was a, a decent bit of money, and obviously, I'd done very well back home, and there was talking obviously going to Rangers and and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it was tough. I was used to playing every week, and I came down here and never played as much as I was. A, I like, but, you know, that's part of football and it's something I had to deal with at the time, yeah. And obviously, I think you're in the Peterborough team where there was loads of signings coming in, weren't there, at time as well? Um, yeah, there was obviously a lot. We actually started the season pretty well and, you know, I think we were at the top of the league. Uh, but I found myself probably like on the periphery a bit there and, you know, I still played, I think, 15, 17 games for half a season, which is not too bad. So, obviously, I've got experience in League One and hopefully I can use that um, here in League Two. I was working out, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time you scored a goal in England was at Valley Parade, wasn't it? The penalty shootout? <laughs> yeah. The FA Cup. That, game, that was mad, that game. Was it 4-4 or something? Yeah, yeah. Bonkers yeah. game. So, last time I scored a goal, high. but it doesn't count as a goal, it's a shootout, so... <laughs> still, still the winner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that, that that was the night when Ivan Tony scored from the halfway line, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, that was that one, I. 
Yeah. Mad, mad game. And and as you say, obviously, you know, got good reputation for scoring goals. I mean, I spoke to Gary Locke this week and he said, give him a chance and nine times out of ten, he'll put it away. So no pressure. But I was, I was looking, we'll see with Derek Adams, as you say, he knows you well as a player. You scored right at the beginning of your career against him, didn't you, a couple of times? Um, yeah, I'm sure my first uh, professional goal was actually against his Ross County team. So yeah, actually mentioned that when he phoned me. I don't know about, <laughs> coming, about coming here, yeah. So, um, obviously, I was young back then. I think I was on loan at Rafe Rovers, and he was mm-hmm. a manager there, Ross County. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and but he, as I say, he was a manager there who was who did very very well at Ross, didn't he? I mean, you know, straight away you could sort of see he was he was a manager who knew what he was doing. Um, yeah, you know, as I just said before, he's got a great record even back home with Ross County. I think he took them up to the SPL, took Plymouth up, and took Markham up. So obviously. He, he knows what he's doing and, you know, hopefully this second half of the season we can really kick on and, you know, give it a good, a good push, yeah. And obviously we've talked about big expectations, you know, this club, that the, the fan base, it's a big fan base, so obviously it expects a lot, you know, but you've played, you say, in a lot of big games, you've scored in big games because presumably a lot of the time with a new player coming in, it's being able to sort of cope with those surroundings, isn't it? Because it's it's quite a big thing mentally, isn't it? Um, yeah, you know, as I said before, I think maybe... People come to this football club and they don't actually realise how big it is. Um, I think it's the same in Scotland with, with Celtic Rangers, Hearts. The same people come and they, they think, wow, they don't realise the, the expectation of the club, but that's something I'm used to. Um, it's not always easy if you're getting criticism, but, you know, it's something I have to try and deal with. And, you know, it's something I've done a lot in my career, yeah. 